Hey, you made it. You found the link, you clicked it. You found the video and you clicked it. Someone sent you a link and you clicked it. You stumbled upon it somehow. Welcome to the next part of the first fan mail, Friday of 2018. And we still have a bajillion boxes to get through, but we're making our way. So let's, let's, start, let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. This is from Martin. And I know Martin is in Iceland. And I opened this before Christmas because I wasn't sure if it was a gift or not. So this is gonna be good. Hi, Joel, I hope this arrives to you before the hospital charity event is held, but if not, I'm sure you'll start saving up for the new event, which I am. When I sent you a package last time to Fan Mail Friday, I messed up and forgot the Haribo candy on my desk. That was meant to be sent your way. <laughs> and I've been haunted by this ever since. I wanted to make this right, and now this package, you got Haribo for the whole family. So here's some, let's see, Haribo, 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 Haribo. Haribo. Oh, and candies. <gasps> this is awesome. Okay, oh, and this is uh oh, this is a sticker and a maker coin and a little omnom that Sparky Face 5 made. But there's something else in here. Yes, there it is. In the box, in this box, my maker coin printed in carbon fiber ABS from Push Plastics and the Omnom modeled by Tesla printed in the same material. The 3D printed model I printed out and painted for you this time is of a glacier called Orif Jajakukl. Orif Jajakukl. I, I murdered that, but I wanted to, look at that. So this is, this is 3D printed. It's, it's a 3D printed relief map then it's painted. So when you go, like, like here in Washington, we have Mount Rainier, and you go to the visitor center and you see this giant relief map and it's painted. So this is like that, this is of a glacier. And I, of a name I can't say, that is so rad, Martin. Thank you. It's, diff, it's a difficult name even in Icelandic, but you can watch my video, 3D printed and painted landscape volume nine on my 3DP Iceland channel to see the paint process and listen on how I say the name. The glacier holds a big and powerful volcano and it might erupt soon. And if it does, it might be much more powerful than the Ijafjallajökull eruption we had in 2010. Of course, recently I joined your Patreon High Five Club and I really like After the Five videos and I hope my support brings you closer to your goals. So what he's talking about there on non, on non Fan Mail Friday videos and other videos, after I give my high five, I lower my hand and I just kind of give up train of thought, and I make that available to all my $5 patrons. So thank you, Martin. Otherwise, I wish you and your family happy holidays, take care, and keep up the great work you do on the YouTubes and elsewhere in the 3D printing community. Best regards, Martin. Oh man, I adore this. This is, this is cool. And the paint job is fantastic. Martin, thank you for this. Uh, you, let's see, I'm sorry. I just wanna make sure, oh. <laughs> Haribo. Oh, don't worry, Martin. I didn't forget. In the envelope is 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Don't worry, we take all. Down to business, first things first. Gotta fold it one more time. Next one, the next one, the next one. Uh, how about this one? This is from Dennis. This is from Dennis. We'll get out the knife. There we go. Ooh, a lot of stuff inside. There happens to be a self-addressed stamped envelope. There happens to be a US dollar and there, oh, this is cool. Is there a note or anything? There is a note. Whew. Almost missed that. Dear Joel, you get a sticker. Thanks to you and the other YouTube channels for 3D printing, Angus, Joe, the 3D maker noob, Thomas, uh, Joe, the 3D printing professor, and Devin. I am now the proud owner of a Prusa Mark IIs and, uh, and love every moment. To show my appreciation for the content you create, I designed a version of your sticker in Onshape. The print took just over an hour and has, uh, has some issues, but I still printed successfully. See if you can 
pick out the issues I had. Thanks again for all you do, Dennis, the 3D filament artist. Oh, 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 oh. on the back is a high five. High five. Okay. Ooh. So, a version of my sticker. Looks like he had some layering issues, but uh, I would call this a good print. It's not bad at all. There's some stickers on the back, so I could technically just stick it to something. I do happen to have a self-addressed stamped envelope, Dennis, and I happen to have that dollar bill. First things first. Well, Dennis, thank goodness it's you because you get a sticker. Next up, uh, this box. This is from Jacob. This is from a Jacob, and it looks like I have to cut down there. Cut down there. Cut right there. I have to open that way. <laughs> I never know the direction to open on these boxes. All right. Ooh. Okay, first there's some green uh, paper confetti. Oh, that's gonna get everywhere, isn't it? Oh, it's a little, make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Dear Joel, my name is Jacob. I am 12 and I love 3D printing. You have taught me most of what I know about 3D printing. In this box, I have my barrel safe. There is no clear way of opening it. You can get the missing key from my mini factory. It is object 53509. You might have to type it into the URL. Do you think it would be possible for you to print it larger for a video? It was nice to meet you at Maker Faire in New York. I was high five number 73. <laughs> I am Pee Wee Jedi on the YouTubes, my mini factory, Thingiverse, and Pin Shape. Jacob, do not touch. It is, uh, it is a safe. Well, I'm gonna have to print out a key, apparently, to get what's inside. That's, that's a great thing. I will do that. All right, Jacob, thank you. Oh, next one. Um, let's do another envelope. How about this one right here? This is from Mr. Landry. Mr. Landry. Mr. Landry. Oh, good folding job right there. Oh, this is a self-addressed stamped envelope. This is some words. Dear Joel, I've been a fan of your channel for about four months now. I love your content and I always watch your videos as soon as they come out. I was wondering if you could send me a sticker to go on my new Anet A8. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Landry from Mesquite. Well, Landry, usually we have people send a dollar and a self-addressed stamped envelope, but I'm feeling generous. And Landry, oh, wait, wait, you get a sticker. How about this box right here? This is from Eddie. This is from Eddie in Northeastern. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It says 3D. You can see that on the camera. I don't know how to cut into this box without damaging it somehow. I mean, it's okay. It's sealed very, very good. Good thing I got an official fan mail Friday knife. Okay. Do, 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 do. Inside, we have things wrapped up, wrapped up. We have a note. We have a note. Let's see. In the note. Ooh, is a. I like this, a $10 bill in a Ziploc bag, just to keep it fresh, I like that. Dear Joel, I am Eddie. I'm 13 years old and ever since I started watching your videos, I've always wanted a 3D printer. My birthday is three days before Christmas and this year because of you, I asked for a Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer for my birthday and Christmas combined. Huh? Cool, and I got it, oh, awesome. I haven't printed much yet, just the candy shooter that you showed me and some others, small trinkets. Currently, I am printing a stand for my headphones that I found on Thingiverse. I have recently 
been having some trouble with it though. When I begin to print it in PLA, sticks to the nozzle, clumps up around it. That's not, uh, that's not good. Uh, let's see. When I grow up, I want to be an electrical engineer. I have made a couple things like static electricity generators, giant hex bugs, and recently an electric lock at the door of my room with a keypad outside. That's fantastic. I've also made an 80s arcade machine that can play Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, and just about anything along those lines. It is connected to an old monitor that I found in my basement. That was for my dad's old computer until he got a new one. It uses a Raspberry Pi. Oh, that's fantastic. I love projects like that. I originally got a 3D printer because I wanted to have a box or case for things that I make for them to have a nice look. But watching your video showed me that there is so much more to do with them. I hope that you put this in a Fan Mail Friday episode. Well, of course, of course I did. P.S. Sorry that the letter was long. I just had so much to say. Eddie, oh, Eddie, it's all right, it's all right. Let's see what you sent over. This is, this is fun. It's like, it's like Christmas. Ooh, look at that. That is a nice little snowflake right there. What's in this one? This, oh. 3D Hubs Marvin. And this, this feels a little heavier. Don't know what's in here, but I bet we'll find out. Oh, look at that. It is, it is a vase. This is a vase. That is a nice vase. Oh, and $10. My goodness. All right. Let's take care of business. First things first. Eddie, my friend. Eddie, right? It's Eddie. I'm right. Good. Glad I'm right because Eddie, you get a sticker. Next up is this box. Right here, this box. This is from a Marcus. All right, this is from a Marcus. Wait, did I open this one already? Maybe I did. Ooh, I did not, but this is cool. Look at this, this, it looks like that. What the heck, right? Hello, Joel, love watching you and the kids. Here's a box of goodies. Soap and lip balm that my friend makes. I designed and printed a honeycomb soap dish to keep the soaps dry because they're handmade, they don't like to sit in water. The dish is on Thingiverse called Hexagonal Soap Holder or on, oh, or on her site, www.littlebeeherbals.com. Littlebeeherbals.com, hope you all enjoy. Marcus, well that's cool, look at that. And they got the little rubber feet at the bottom so that the soaps don't, don't scoot around. Oh, look at this, this is called a lump of lump of coal soap. Wow, it smells smells wonderful. Yeah, little b l i t t l e b b e e herbals h e r b a l s dot com. Wow, and this one, <laughs> this soap. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. This is fantastic. This soap is called monkey farts. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. What do we got here? This is uh, oh raspberry lip balm. Oh, oh, there's something in a little velvet, uh, little velvet bag here. This is cherry lip balm. Last but not least, this is peppermint lip balm. Oh, this is fantastic, Marcus. Thank you so very much. I can't wait to scrub my body with monkey farts. We have time for one more. We have time for one more, and it's gonna be this one. This is from my buddy, Andy Berkey. This is from Berkey. Oh, I love it. Let's go on. Might be able to just tear in right here. He said he was sending something. I asked, can I open it on camera? And he said, of course. Love that man. Hands stenciled and imperfect without apology. The shirt is made with one of the dumbest printing processes in the entire world. The process itself ensures that each shirt is entirely unique just like you and me. Machine wash inside out a couple of times and the ink will get a cool vintage look. Trust me, you'll dig it. Abuse it and enjoy, Andy. Joel, I just found this shirt I made for you this summer. Sorry for the delay, cheers, Andy. Oh, look at that, I got a sticker. Look at that shirt. Oh, that's great. I love the back, it says Berkey. 
stuff made by hands. Well, Andy, I will treasure this shirt. I will wash it inside and out, and I um, take solace in knowing that it is unique, just like you and me, brother. Well, that's it for this edition of Fan Mail Friday, but have no fear, the next episode is right there. It is right there. That's it. That's it. Click 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 it. That's it. It's right there. It's right there. Click it. Just right there. Click it. The next opening. Which one will it be? I don't know. It's one of these.